welcome back for another video. It was a very eventful weekend, including a couple of managerial sack-ins, lots of talk about this week and the game week not over yet, with the final game on Wednesday. In this video we'll discuss the transfer trends and we'll focus on the top game week 30 projections by position. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on this content each week. Starting off with the goalkeepers, and we're back to a single game week next and here's how the list looks. Man City are away to bottom of the league Southampton and Edison tops the projections with 4.3 points, De Gea close behind with 4.2. Both Edison and De Gea look like strong longer term buys, but we're at a point in the season where transfers need to be crafted around the blanks and doubles and based on chip strategy. Let's pull up the latest predicted fixtures for the rest of the season courtesy of Mikhail Tokvam. Gamic 32 and Gamic 34 are locked in already with respective blanks and doubles them. You may plan to free hit in Gamic 32, in which case bringing in Man United, Chelsea or Man City or even Brighton assets in the next couple of weeks is fine. Whereas if you've used your free hit or if you plan to free hit later in the season then you need to be mindful of how your team looks in Gamic 32. If you're already fielding 8 players maximum then bringing in another player who blanks in Gamic 32 isn't wise as you'll be scrambling for a team just a few weeks down the line. Still drops off the projections this week as he's up against Spurs. He did make a mistake in the Brentford game, picking up a back pass which led to a free kick inside the box. Not something you see often, fortunately Brentford weren't able to punish it. However Still did also get the assist from a timer's goal which is also something you don't see often. Brighton will be a huge talking point from after game week 32 given all their double game weeks to come. So Graham Potter and Brendan Rodgers were sacked over the weekend. This does leave a question mark over both Kepa and diverse and spots in goal. There has been speculation that Nagelsmann might come in for Chelsea and he may prefer Mendy. Perhaps we see him get a chance in goal, perhaps Ward comes in for Leicester again, something to monitor over the coming weeks. Martinez, Melia, Leonard and Fabianski all avoids. Fabianski did come back in goal against Southampton and he kept a clean sheet and he does double in game at 34 but it's two away games to Crystal Palace and Man City. Moving on to the defenders and Shaw tops the projections this week with 4.3. Man United home to Everton and they'll be desperate to get back to winning ways after the loss to Newcastle. Man United have a hectic schedule coming up with Europa League and FA Cup packed in midweek. As you can see Man United vs Chelsea is postponed with the FA Cup taking that spot hence the game week 32 blank. That Chelsea game will become a double game week most likely in game week 37. So it goes about saying some players will see reduced minutes over this busy run, whether that includes Shaw or not remains to be seen, he is a very good transfer and worth the risk. Although he's second, Martinez added void given the other options available to Ten Hag and centre back and he was subbed early last match. With Davies and Sessegnon injured, Perisic has snuck into the projections, only one to consider if you plan to wildcard in Gamic 33. It's a short term punt with home games to Brighton and Bournemouth next. Chilwell's projected 3.7 points and Chelsea are away to Wolves which will be under their third manager of the season. Fun fact, Kante's next home game will be his third home game of the season, each one under a different manager. If it is Nagelsmann who takes over as manager, he's got a reputation of switching his systems up a lot. He's played a back three of wing backs lots which is what you want if you're a Chilwell owner but he has also played a back four which would lessen his appeal and he has been known to even make half time substitutions of his full backs if the game isn't playing out as planned. Trippier now sits at 166 points and he needs 48 points of what's left of the season to break the all-time defender record. He's essential for the rest of the season and we saw against Man United he will kill your rank if you don't have him. Stones is projected 4.6 points along with Trippier, James and Moreno, but the City defence is a big gamble so I'd swerve him. He'd inevitably be benched a few times before the end of the season despite having back-to-back -back starts. Moving on to the mids, and this week Rashford's top projected 5.7 points. It's hard to imagine him not putting one or two past Everton despite the organised defence they've become under Daesh. They're still vying for top four and they have dropped more points again, one point in the last three games. Ten Hag's got a massive job on his hands managing that plus other competitions to juggle. De Bruyne put up a 13 point to last game week in very few teams due to the single game week he had and it was his first return since game week 23 where he also put up a 13 pointer against Arsenal. He's up against Southampton and Leicester next, two really good fixtures and could be more hauls to come. Though as we said earlier he's only worth the gamble if you're free hitting in game week 32. Man City do double in game week 34 and should in game week 37 as well. We saw him finish last season very strongly and he might be an under the radar pick to consider. Bruno's projected 5.3 points just behind De Bruyne and Salah 5.1 up against Arsenal. Salah another differential to consider over Haaland if you are chasing rank. 
This calendar year, he actually has more points than Haaland, and they've both played 11 games. The risk of going out of Haaland is obvious though. Leicester's first game after the sacking of Rodgers is a very good one, the home to Bournemouth. The fans will be completely behind the team, and it's about as good a fixture as come. On top of that, Madison doesn't blank in game week 32. However, he does face Man City in game week 31, where you might want to bench him. After that, he's got Wolves, Leeds, Everton and Fulham. Grealish makes the projections, and he was sensational against Liverpool, one goal and one assist, and he made a crucial tackle against Salah, tracking all the way back, which might have led to a goal. Just note that Foden is currently out for a couple of weeks, so the long-term minutes of Grealish and Maris might be under threat later on. Brighton are up against Spurs this week, so the Brighton mids miss out on the projections, but not too far off, with 3.7 points on average between them. There's absolutely nothing between the three if you've got a headache which to start this week, so go with your gut. Onto the forwards, and Kane's top this week projected 5.3 points. So to recap on the overall top projections, Rashford's on 5.7, De Bruyne 5.4, Kane 5.3 and Bruno also 5.3. Very close this week, and if we don't get positive news on Haaland, then there's such a great spread of captaincy options. Haaland's projected 60 minutes, which might be reasonable, hence his slightly reduced points for 4.8. The question is, if he is expected to be back, is it worth looking elsewhere anyway for captaincy as a pun? Man City are navigating the same busy schedule as Man United with even tougher games. They're up against two shells Bayern Munich in the Champions League and they've got the FA Cup coming up as well. Does he sit one game out either side of the Champions League? Again, the risks of betting against him are clear, but eight players have outscored him this year, so clearly it can work if you pick the right alternate. Watkins is on 5.1 points this week, home to Forest. Just one blank in his last nine games, in the form of his life, seven goals and an assist over that period. Incredible form and a decent fixture in Gaming 30 up against Forest. You might recall Solanke topped the forward projections on last week's Who to Buy video. Well done if you did grab him. He was on the score sheet against Fulham and he took all three bonus points for a nine pointer. He's projected 3.9 points this week, albeit a tougher fixture against Brighton, but he is home again. Havertz, Darwin, Isaac, and Alvarez all avoids this week. That wraps up the video, thanks for watching. If it was useful, please remember to like the video and make sure you subscribe to the channel. I read every comment, so leave one below and I'll be sure to read it. See you soon for the next one.